I would like to thank for the donation. Uh, uh, that was uh, how much in the pound, sir? Uh, 312,000 pound. 312,000 pound. In, in yes, Nepali, it's, it's uh, three, crore, 3 crore 44 lakhs. Yeah, mm. it's such a big amount you uh, donated to the RAN's uh, water supply uh, improvement project. Uh, I'm the current mayor of the city. So officially, I came here uh, to thank you, uh, the Gold Tower Trust, for uh, giving us such a big uh, help. Uh, the, uh, we have a water problem, water shortage problem in dry seasons, and the project that uh, you gave us that is uh, so that is giving us a lot of uh, um, water uh, at present and uh, thousands, thousands of, uh, hundred, hundred thousands more than that, uh, the people are benefited from that project uh, at present. So it is really, really uh, use health that you uh, kindly uh, gave to the Ran municipality, sub-metropolitan uh, city that is. And I'd like to thank uh, our M. Chandra Sar, uh, also for uh, making a kind of coordination for that project and uh, uh, some more things I'd like to say mm, now the sons uh, the children of uh, the Gorkhas uh, they uh, they are um, taking education uh, they are uh, educated but uh, only the theoretical education is not supporting uh, the life, you know. So if we can start a kind of a vocational education, vocational education especially targeted to the uh, children of Gorkhas uh, would be very uh, good. Uh, 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 and then uh, one is that one and, and the other one is like uh, if we can do a kind of a, we we can do um, uh, we can do some works uh, in the field of community community uh, centers if we can just build up that one. I don't think all the ex has they have uh, migrated to the UK. I don't I don't feel that uh, some are still there. So a place if we can build a kind of a place where they can come and they can uh, hang out with the uh, with their friends let's say the old old as people yeah, the elderly people if they uh, come there and if they can um, share socialize, their, their, socialize, yeah, yeah. share their feelings with their uh, same age people <coughs> friends and there if they can uh, come and if they uh, uh, take a kind of a refreshment let's say refreshment center if we build that kind of thing would be uh, very good, I think. So that is also the thing I am uh, thinking. So in that um, eight, in that uh, project, if we can work together, right, mm. in some ways, uh, which would be better, I think. Mm, so, especially, I came to thank uh, you all for the water project that for you gave us. Uh, um, Two years or one and a half years ago. So, and uh, two more things I'm thinking like that. So, mm -hmm. if we can work together, uh, would be uh, better for the uh, senior citizens, Gorkhas, who are there in the city, uh, and uh, of course the children, son, daughter, let's say the grandson and granddaughters mm -hmm. of Gorkhas. Uh, some of them are what to say. Uh, jobless and mm. people uh, what I came to know lately is uh, people become jobless because they don't have these skills yes everybody wants to work but how to work if they don't have the vocational skills and trainings so suppose like the uh, people want to do the carpentry but if they don't have the training they cannot make the furnitures they cannot do that so if we give a kind of vocational training also would be better for the young generation of the Gorkhas and <laughs> for the elderly, uh, elderly people, a community, all the kind of thing. If we make them be better, I think. 
So if if there is possibility, I think we have to look into that. Thank you. So thank can you. I just say that um, uh, we're honoured by your, your Mayor, sir, that we are honoured by your presence here today in Salisbury. Thank you very much for taking the time to come down here to visit us on your busy schedule. Uh, we are really um, very grateful that we were able to support with the water project. Um, and I think that the connection that we have uh, dates back a, a considerable uh, amount of time. Uh, and uh, I will certainly take away uh, those ideas that you've suggested and we will have a look at those. But I think my heartfelt uh, thanks to you for your genuine concern for the Gurkha community in the Duran area, uh, for which I'm very grateful. Thank you. I think just want to make very clear it is, although Mayor Sub mentioned my name, but it was the board decision. I think the most important thing at that time is there were the regimental association in Nepal and ex servicemen were really asking for it as a trustee. You know, I'm very privileged on that post, but at the same time, had it not been you as a mayor, it would <laughs> not have been possible. I think uh, that was an unprecedented uh, thing we did. Uh, and uh, it was challenging, but it is mainly because of the ex-servicemen who lives in the run and what we have come up with a plan and that has actually materialized and, and both made that decision at that time. It was a tough time COVID, during the COVID period. Mm -hmm. It was quite challenging, but I think both has 100% believe in the need of the ex-servicemen community and the regimental institution Baran play a huge part on that one. So I'm just part of it. So, and thank you, Mayor Saab, you know, it, it would not be possible. And I think what we have just said is, it is something we want to help our ex workers who live in Nepal. And this is where the strategic review is looking into it, because we want to help them and how best we can help. And like you have just suggested, you know, through the vocational training of the daughter, uh, granddaughters of the ex servicemen who may not have the skill uh, to learn and because of that they are unemployment uh, and so much uh, things are and also uh, about the well-being of our ex gurkhas mm -hmm. who decided to remain in Nepal so how can we help them and this is one of the things the well-being of ex gurkhas because it's not only the medical we're supposed to be helping it is also the well-being so that they interact communicate yeah, yeah. each other sure. and I think this is something good for us to take away mm -hmm. Just get just ten minutes walk from yeah. the sea. Yeah. Uh, that, that park is yeah. you know uh -huh. it's just amazing stuff. I, I I think the fruits are already yeah. slowly so, coming up. Yeah. Mangoes, uh, <laughs> banana. Yeah. I know mm -hmm. this yeah. plantation project which we have established. So we have uh, monkey problems, means uh, yeah. monkey. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, they come to the downtown, and wow. they yeah uh, they disturb us a lot. Oh, and what I what I thought is uh, I I I thought to plant uh, the fruit trees and all uh, outside mm. yeah. the city. So that is what he's uh, talking yeah. about now. Yeah, yeah. and it's uh, okay. yeah it's giving some it, it's starting let's say. Yeah. Uh, so later later on the yeah the monkey <laughs> will have come to disturb us to the downtown yeah. and they, 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 they will enjoy outside <laughs> that's my reason mayor sapko bigger reason was because that area is a watershed area so yes he want to protect that watershed area yeah. so in order to have a flow of water so the project which we have done in Baran, mm. and it's a measure. Yeah, so. what is it? I, that's the bigger plantation. I yeah. went to that um, project uh, last, last year. Last year, March last year. Yes. But uh, the river was dying, very small. Mm. Um, I think it's because all the plantations disappearing yeah. and. Yeah. Uh, the housing building nearby. So it was very small at <laughs> that time. Mm. And it's uh, still a problem with dengue fever in Tehran. That's all. Dengue? Dengue. 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 Yeah. dengue. yeah, yeah. Last year we had. Really? But this year uh, we didn't. Okay. Mm -hmm.
other places are. <laughs> source, source, source and destroy. Yeah, and destroy. We <laughs> 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 started this video, sir. We also built this strategy here. He implement that yeah. search and destroy program, yeah. which is awareness. Mm. Uh, and, and we also GWT help. I know, yeah, 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 of course, of course, yeah, yeah. Uh, GWT, yeah. Some, uh, GWT also uh, help, uh, help, give yeah. us a lot of help, support, medical yeah. stuff yeah. like uh, mosquito net and uh, uh, kind of yeah, uh, mosquito uh, repellent, uh, lotions and all of this that. Yeah. And uh, yeah. some other things too. Uh, Maybe uh, uh, the paracetamol. Yeah. Tablets. Okay, yeah. Yes, yeah. You provided us. Yeah. Thank you for that. Go to see quite regularly. It's just lovely. Me mention. I think it's uh, for thank Mersa is the BP Kerala Hospital. Yes. Uh, um, had some lots of issue, and now the Mersa is um, really help yeah. trying to help, More. and we has a significant impact on that because majority of our ex servicemen and the mm. dependent use BP Kerala Hospital. So Mayor Saab is also engaged with that to improve the management and, and, and the service of the BP Kota Hospital, which we are really thankful. And I, I think if you continue to push for the better management of BP Kota Hospital, it will benefit our ex-servicemen and the wider community as well. And as a Mayor Saab? Yeah.